What's up guys, Matt Dollar here, and uh, this is Friday morning, the second day of Ledgestone. I'm here in Peoria, Illinois, about to head out to uh, Eureka and get ready to start out. Teeing at 9 a.m. today, which is a pretty good indicator that I did not play well yesterday. Uh, just had a really rough start, I don't know if you looked at live scoring, but I was... Uh, six over after the first three holes, had three double bogeys in a row to start. Uh, played pretty good after that. The only real mess up was uh, threw out of bounds on hole 10 and then had a really rough headwind for the putt uh, and skipped off the basket and lost my favorite Cenus in the river. So, bummer. Bummer on that. Um, I played really strong coming down the stretch, though. Ended up uh, two under through the last eight holes, so... Just got to get my head in the right place and my arm in the right place earlier today. Uh, however, today, if you see I'm wearing the hoodie, it's uh, it's pretty cold. And from the south, and it's never cold like this in the in the uh, summer, but, you know, I'm prepared. I've been up uh, playing in the north throughout the last few summers, and sometimes it gets really cold. So right now it's like mid-50s and uh, like 20 mile an hour wind, it looks like. So this should be a really interesting day at Lake Eureka. Um, it was pretty frustrating out there yesterday. Uh, I'm going to try to just bounce back and do my best. I never gave up yesterday. I kept trying. Um, just sometimes on a course like this, things aren't going to go your way. And uh, if you are throwing bad, sometimes just the smallest little grip lock can be the difference in uh, being in bounds 400 feet off the tee or throwing your... Uh, taking a penalty stroke and then throwing your third shot like 50 feet off the tee. So these are things you deal with in these big tournaments, these big events. <clears throat> uh, I really feel like the course, it's not made for players like me. It's made for guys who throw really far. Um, it's weird. I've been a thousand rated player for, I don't know, a long time, almost 10 years now. And there's like five holes that I can't even get a birdie on if I throw perfect shots. So it's pretty strange, very strange course. Um, like I said, I don't think this is built for me. This is built for guys like Paul McBeth, Simon Lazat, Ricky Wysocki. This is honestly built for those kind of guys, guys with uh, really long arms. And um, and playing good in the wind definitely helps too. No wind during the practice week, but really windy uh, yesterday, and it looks to be even windier today. So just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. Uh, besides that, I'm having a great time. I actually played the C tier at Northwoods Park on Monday and got the win, so that was cool. Me and uh, Tony G actually tied for first, but it's a flex start, so I get the win too, um, which was cool because I love Northwoods, my favorite course in this area. <clears throat> in fact, the only course I don't like in the area is the one that I'm playing all week, so I'm going to try to uh, get my shots going the right direction, keep my head up, <clears throat> and play the best golf that I can. Let the cards fall where they do. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll try to give you a little <clears throat> a little update before this event's over. Also, I'm going to try to do like a quick little in the bag at some point. Uh, bag's in the trunk, and it's cold, so right now is not the time. But thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.